Loyalty and personal beliefs hold immense value. What do you think of Trump? I think I'm going to vote for him. Really? Yeah, in the next election. Yes, I am. I, I, Are you ready for the blowback? Well, <laughs> yeah. If the, inevitably comes Well, Trump. you know, I think in this election, everybody's got to, I think they're going to take a side or whatever, but it's, uh, it just seems, to be, it just makes sense. I was ready not to vote for Trump until I, what I saw is more than politics. I, I see a weaponization of our justice system. Yeah. And, uh, a, a challenge to our, our constitution uh, and uh, us as Americans that I don't think we're going to have. And, um, you know, Trump is the most investigated person probably in the history mm. of the world. Mm. And they haven't been able to really get him. Now, people might call him an asshole, but he's my asshole. Despite the controversy surrounding Donald Trump, Dennis Quaid's steadfast support for him aligns with his principles. His declaration, he's my asshole, showcases a personal loyalty that surpasses societal opinions. Concerns about the weaponization of the justice system resonate with a sense of justice and fairness. Dennis Quaid perceives Trump as unfairly targeted, echoing Democratic worries about excessive government power and the politicization of the legal process. Quaid's admiration for Trump's decisive actions in international affairs such as handling North Korea and ISIS, reflects a public respect for strong leadership. This contrasts with his criticism of previous administration's conciliatory tactics, which he deems ineffective against evil people and bad actors.